Hi, this is Dr. Sweet. Welcome to the Peak Performance Podcast. Today's talk is about drugs and the brain and how drugs affect the brain. Before we get into how drugs work and how they affect the brain in this first of perhaps maybe two or three uh, podcasts I'm going to do, let me just go over for you how the brain uh, is organized. The brain is the most complex organ in the body. We know that. It weighs about three pounds. It's made up of gray and white matter, and it's the centerpiece of all of human activity. Everything you can want to do from flying an airplane, riding a bike, to, to dancing, to singing, to playing basketball, football, tennis, or hockey, uh, any activity you want to do is regulated by your brain. Even your breathing and uh, you, uh, your thinking is is, re- is regulated by your brain. So the brain is, is, is it. It is the master organ. Now, it works like a computer and it has billions of cells. These cells are called neurons. So I want you to let that sink in. The brain has billions. I said billions of cells. That should sink in. And these cells are called neurons. And they control, they talk to each other through electrical impulses. Yes, in our brains, there are these electrical circuits. The neurons or the brain cells, they use electricity. And these electrical impulses travel along the neuron. And then when it has to talk to another neuron, it will cause the uh, end portion of the nerve to release a chemical called a neurotransmitter. And that's important because neurotransmitters are all over the brain. You have a whole bunch of them there. You've heard them things like dopamine. You've heard things like serotonin. You've heard things like histamine. So these are neurotransmitters, GABA. They're they're in the brain. And what they are, are they're like these chemical messengers. After the electrical impulse gets past the neuron, it, it gets into the spaces between the neurons by being uh, a chemical. And this neurotransmitter, this chemical, actually is important because drugs can mimic these neurotransmitters and create havoc in the brain. Drugs like uh, weed, for example, uh, can, can look like a neurotransmitter. They can look like a neurotransmitter. A heroin, the same thing. These drugs can activate neurons because their chemical structures mimic the, new, the natural neurotransmitter in the, in the body, right? And so then what this means is that the, the neurons don't know any different. They see a, a drug in there, they think it's a neurotransmitter, and before you know it, they get activated, uh, but they don't get activated in the same way that the natural neurotransmitter would activate it. They're being activated by the drug. And guess what? Do you think you're gonna have normal or abnormal messaging in the brain if you're using a fake? The drugs, these these drugs like weed and, and heroin, they, they can do that, right? They can lead to abnormal messaging. Now, the other thing is that uh, other drugs like amphetamines and cocaine, uh, they can cause the neurons, right, to release a whole lot of neurotransmitter, more than they should be uh, releasing. And then you can have this overwhelming response, being too happy, too amped up, too, too hyped, and so that's because the, the drugs like amphetamines and cocaine are really releasing too much of, of, of the neurotransmitter. Um, sometimes these drugs can actually prevent the neurotransmitters from being taken back up by the cell after they're doing, they've been out there doing their thing, right? So you can have two problems. One, the drug amplifies the release of the neurotransmitter or it doesn't let the neurotransmitter be reabsorbed and that's, a, that's an issue so you'll have disrupted communication. So I'm gonna stop here, and and when I come back, we're gonna talk about brain, uh, the parts of the brain that are affected by drug use. So just to recap, we talked about the brain of three pound gray and white matter 
organ, that's the master organ in the body. We talked about how it works, like an electrical circuit with these chemical neurotransmitters that talk between cells. We talked about how drugs can come in and mimic these neurotransmitters and create havoc, or they can cause too much of the neurotransmitter to be released or, or not let the neurotransmitter be reabsorbed and create problems. I think that's quite enough for now on understanding uh, the brain and drugs. We will return in the next podcast to talk more about how these drugs actually affect particular structures in the brain. This is Dr. Sweet. Thank you for listening. If you'd like to learn more, visit us at fullcircleconfidential.com.